What's going on YouTube? Kyle Ken coming at you with another Final Fantasy Red Caper video. If you're enjoying this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Anyway, um, this time we're going to be taking on the weapons of Old Estar, uh, plus plus fight the, uh, fight four skulls, record that record material, um, memory crystal two. Uh, so as usual, let's look at the, uh, require, oh, I'll be right back. Okay, anyway, I think it's buns. So I can't even look at like the requirements or whatever. Um, if you have your full Ooh, I need more greater power orbs to upgrade stuff. Anyway. Alright, so Mobile Type 8. Every time I hear this name, I actually think of the uh what is it, the the B A G H like 702 or whatever the thing is you fight at um at Fisherman's Horizon and in the Gold Body Missile Base. Anyway. Um it has three targets. Um, you can't defeat either probe though. So what that means is you're gonna have to focus on the body. Like you actually have to target the body each time or else you might randomly attack a probe, which is pretty neg. Um, if you hit the probe will separate from the body, the counterattack with homing laser. Um, the body will also have a 20% chance to counterattack like all physical attacks. Um, actually, I, like this is what I just wanna read off Reddit right now. I'm not entirely sure if it actually is 20% or if it does every time. Um, it also has an ability um, called Corona, which boosts everyone's HP to 500 or lower. I'm pretty sure it reduces everyone's HP to 500. Um, and like it shifts forms every so often. Um, after the mobile, uh, it begins a battle in mobile form. After its fifth turn in mobile form, it will shift to support form. Um, after that, it will not do anything in the first two turns. But on the third turn, it will cast Corona, which reducing everyone's HP to 500. And after that, loot nothing for the next two turns, then use Megiddo Flame um, as an interrupt, and then it will shift back to mobile form and continue the pattern. It's a, bit hot, it's a, it's a lot to kind of take in, but just want to make sure um, you have everything down. Um, looking at the conditions, um, you have to exhaust Lightning Weakness and bring Squall. Make sure Squall is not KO'd. Uh, we'll definitely be able to do this relatively easily. Um, as you can see, I'm stocked up on Lightning Attacks. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I should have honed my Thundara, my Thundaga Strike, which I got from the last event, but I think I have enough attack to supplement um, the lack of luster honing of that. So, as usual, we're going to be getting a, a Sentinel's Grimoire. Um, you can actually kind of get away with using either Boon or lunatic high for this depending on if you're bringing shell or protect i would recommend bringing protect because the majority of its attacks are physical um the megiddo flame it does in um it does in what is it mobile uh in support form is metal but other than that the rest of the attacks are physical so without further ado I, I will be right back as usual to screenshot my team all right i have returned now let's get started with this fight All right, so here the fight finally is. It took a while for it to load for whatever reason, so I just kind of edited that out. And I have to do this on Irvine's turn, unfortunately. So I don't get to do my breakdowns. Which I guess is okay. Oh my god, Irvine, quick! Jeez! Maybe I should not have done it on Irvine's turn. I think I just definitely I'm going to have to lose a medal now. Especially with that Corona shit. Ugh, it's going to take forever. I don't have Renoa Soul Break. Oh my gosh. If I pulled Renoa Soul Break, that would be so clutch right now. But I didn't, so... Can't really complain about that. I mean, I can. But who's going to listen, really? I guess you guys might. Because you're watching this video right now. Granted, most of my subscribers don't watch these. But it's all good. Uh, I don't really even need to full break it, honestly, at this point. Um, I do really want to reduce the damage he's doing, but maybe I should have bought Renewing Cure, actually. I was thinking about that um, because of when he does his Corona attack. He reduces your HP to 500, and I don't want to get screwed over um, by the Dragoons. Not the Dragoons. The, the Self-Sacrifice Rookie Materia I have on, uh, on Squall. I'm not using that materia on um, 
I'm quiet right now. All the direct news determination because I wanted to use um the what is it? Um shoot, what's it called? Attunement two. Um which uh, I probably should have put on Cloud as well, uh, Cloud Squall as well, because I'm primarily using spell blades this fight. So I probably should have done that. And weaponry is off, which probably I have like two turns of getting as much damage as possible. I'll try to kill him. I don't definitely don't think I can. I think that's damn impossible. Unless I go full mage with like the OD Thundagas and stuff. But even then, I think it's still. I don't think it's possible because I have to have some mitigation up so that he doesn't just mollywop me with his counterattacks. Grant, he only counterattacks physical attacks, so I probably could get away with it. And nice, selfie has a limit gauge full, so I'll keep her on standby for now uh, because I definitely would like to um, have that mystic prayer for right now perfect perfect timing actually and it's really imperative that he doesn't hit squall right now because squall has the sap so come on selfie there we go all right got a little bit Yeah, I definitely think I need to reinstate this, but not with Squall's turn. Oh man, I'm gonna cut it close here actually. Look, looking like my protect is almost off as well. Was that, was that power breakdown or was that uh, full break? So I'm definitely gonna need to full break him because that magic attack is coming up. I need to get that full break uh, reinstated soon. Oh shit, I think I just got Molly up because I used the wrong break. Yeah, I'm alright. Fortunately, I'm alright. Yeah, now a revive storm comes around again, huh? Shit. Yeah, without full break, Renault was not hitting for max damage anymore, so. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure she was hitting for max damage for the majority of the fight. Yeah, that's a bit weird to me. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I lost a few medals, but I'll be alright, because Squall didn't die, and I am Sword and Thunder weakness, and no one died. So, I probably lost two medals for for damage, or maybe one for actions, like usual on these fights. And I still haven't gotten Squall's second record materia yet, which is, I need that so that I can get his third record materia. Um, yeah, I figured. It's probably gonna be like that on the third fight as well. Um, this fight was actually a, a little bit more challenging um, than the most recent uh, plus plus fight, so I guess I'm, I guess I I I'm kind of excited about that. I mean, I don't want them to all be too easy, but I don't want them to be like extremely close either. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, this one's pretty close, and the next one is oh boy, Cipher and Idea. Nice, 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 nice. I really don't want to fight them, but. I do have the stamina to fight them, and I can risk Squall's level cap now. Don't really think that matters for the next fight, unless I egg Squall up. Because I want to get these fights all done today. Um, and then maybe upload it later today, I guess. But that's going to be it for this fight. The next time I'll have... Ugh. I'll be back with the Cypher Dia fight. So, if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share support. And do enjoy reading all your comments. And be sure to share these videos with your friends that enjoy Final Fantasy Rocket Keeper. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.